What's going on guys? I hope you like that intro that I created with the night vision look. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create that using After Effects CS6 and also Premiere Pro. But for the most part, this is an After Effects tutorial. So I'm going to come over here to Effects and Presets. I'm going to type in Night. And the first effect that we're going to get is Night Vision Effect. Come over here to Layer, New, and I'm going to select Solid. And I'm going to select Black. Next, I'm going to take the Ellipse tool. And we're going to create ourselves a mask. Right here under Mask, we're going to select Inverted. Now if you want to move this around, I'm going to press Alt and then I'm going to select the circle to move it. So that's pretty much in the center and that's okay. I'm going to lock this video layer here. So in the intro, you notice I had a couple of lines in the middle of the video. I'm going to come over here and select this rectangle tool. Now I'm also going to scale this. So over here we can scale it to what we want. And I'm just going to make it a little bit more thin. So we're going to take this, Control c Control v And all I'm doing is really just trying to find, you know, the width that I want. Let me take the next shape and I'm going to select a rounded rectangle. And for this one, we're not going to have a fill at all. Select the stroke of 2. And let's take the opacity and let's adjust this to 50%. You don't have to use this, but you know if you wanted to add this, I thought it was pretty cool to add it. So we could link all of these together to layer 2 if we wanted to, and that's the original shape we did, the first line. So what will happen is when I select layer 2, all of them will move together. That's something you could think about when you're animating this and moving the circle around. So how I animated this was I took the original mask and I just increased the size. I had this size right like this and I had it to the left a little bit. I'm just giving you a general idea of what I did. Come over here to transform. We're going to select position and I'm going to take another keyframe, move it around. Over here we have scale, set a keyframe for that. For the actual lines over here, what we do is we can select the second layer here, and that's going to get them off to move. Let me just lock this masking layer. What I'll do is I'll link them together, and then I'll increase the size. Now I really didn't do this for mine. I had them all separated, but you know you can do what you want. We'll set a keyframe for position, then move it with another keyframe. Now you see the lines are bigger than the circle, so what we'll do is we'll also scale it. So that's a good estimate of what you would have to do. I mean, you can play around with this, but you get the idea. Now for the record text, it was pretty easy to create. All I had to do was get some text over here. I gave this opacity of 50%. For recording, you usually have that red circle, so I just created that really quickly. And you can scale it to what size you want it. I just added a little bit of animation to the circle. It was very simple to do. You come over here to transform. We'll set a keyframe from there for 100, and then another keyframe for 50%. And then all I did was just copy and paste the keyframes. I wanted it to the right, so as it was moving, I was making adjustments. I'm going to take the circle and link it with the record text. Again, I'm just showing you guys this really quickly, but you get the idea. So in the intro, you notice there was also a flash and sound effect. I'm just going to open up Premiere here, and I'll show you guys how I did that. You can get that by going to the effects panel, type in lens flare. And I cut it over here, and then the lens flare, it was that simple. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked this video, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.